bad, John, please jump up over here onto the big couch. Come on, gentlemen. Onto the big, onto the big red couch of, of glorious comfort, as, as sat upon by many of today's top pop and rock stars. Oh, got a, I, I, someone got a light there? Cigarette lighter, please? No, there's one. Sorry, no, you got to light the blunt early in the day. Thanks for, thanks for joining us here on the return trip on the other side of the big day out. There's many people who've been here all day wanting to ask a few questions. Uh, the first person with a question there would be Yumi, my dear friend. Yumi? Thank you, and I've got a guy who's come a long way to join us today. Have you got a question for Tomahawk? Um, basically, when you're in the studio, is it hard to bounce ideas off each other, or is it easy to record an album? What do you think, Kevin? There wasn't much bouncing going on. <laughs> it was all pretty well, well worked out. Uh, but by, we went in and just recorded. It wasn't really much. The only thing that was really hard bouncing off each other was what kind of alcohol to drink that night. Not it. It was pretty... Martinis, Cosmopolitans, Cognac. Which alcohol uh, produces the, the best rock, do you think? Um, whiskey. 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 What key is this? We, we play whiskey. best in the key of whiskey. So uh, there's a tradition, a tradition that like, the Jägermaster is, is the rock drink, but yeah, yeah no, cool. look at the faces, no, no. no. That's for the Germans, yeah. Okay. Girlies. Man, you look badass. The two girlies. As you do. Speaking of speaking of young ladies, Jabatron. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Yes. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that, but I'll be revealing that in my tell-all book later. We've got Luke Skywalker here, who's got a question for the band Tomahawk. Uh, Luke, what is your question today? Uh, my question is just why you only played two shows at the Big Day Out and not the whole tour. They didn't ask us to do anymore. Yeah, they didn't invite us. <laughs> We'd have done it all. They didn't ask. And then we paid a bunch of people at Kneecap uh, Alien Ant Farm where we got a couple shows. <laughs> so it was you! I was, I was wondering why they, because there are a lot of people in the... We know people in high places, obviously. Or low places. We're just, we're just it's the street cops. We know the guys, the big guys. It's the Adelaide connection, it's the Mark of Cain connection. You must have sent them in to do the business so you could do the home. John, home. John and Kim, John and Kim did it. So they're going <laughs> to retaliate! As Is the they guys do. from Capra? <laughs> guys from Crabble. Yumi has a Yumi has another question over there on the uh, the street of Bent. Yes, I've got Kath just here who wants to ask a question. Um, yep, I was just wondering what kind of music you guys like to listen to yourselves. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. What did we just buy? What did we just buy? We bought Johnny I, Cash. How about uh, Johnny Cash, Dead Boys, Rolling Stones, Velvet Underground, Rolling Stones. What did you buy? What'd you I buy? hate the Rolling Stones. By the way, I bought a bunch of House. This guy listens to. You know. <laughs> we won't go there. Um, alt country and soundtracks. Alt. Okay, Dwayne. Everyone knows exactly Whoa. what you're talking about. <laughs> what, did you, what, did you, what soundtrack did you buy? Um, well, what I brought with me was the uh, Lalo Schifrin and the Dragon. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Uh, Very nice. Taking a pill in one, two, three. That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I can't think of any more right now. All right. All right. Okay. Crap. See some arty crap, yeah, John Cage. Some arty crap. Yeah. Some John Zorn. Some Zorn, I, I, I know him too well. I too can't busy. actually listen to him. Yeah. Too busy. Too, too, too busy. <laughs> too much information. A qu just a quick message at home for the kids who may be thinking of taking, taking up smoking uh, to be, just to be like mm, Mike. Mm. Smoke your heads off. You look cool doing it. Uh, <laughs> but don't inhale. Um, thank, thanks very much. If you have a, uh, do you have another question over there, Jabs? Or are we all, yeah, we got, we got Annie here. Uh, uh, well, she's gone shy now. I think she wanted to ask the Grammy-nominated uh, Dwayne for a question. But are, are you... <laughs> Hank Williams the third, I believe, is the album now. I, I apologise for uh, for not knowing earlier. But Annie, do you, do you have a question? Did you, did you want to ask the band something? I haven't got a question, but I just want to tell you guys I got tattooed to the music of your album today. My first tattoo, so yeah. I might let you know. Bless your heart, yeah. child. <laughs> What's yeah, the tattoo of? It was really painful as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the album was painful, or the tattoo was painful? Um, both, I think the music sort of made me go a bit more crazy, but I just thought I might tell you that, that it's all your fault. Really painful. No. Show us your tattoo. Can you show, can you show us the scar or the bandage over the tattoo, Annie? I would like to point out this young lady is 16 and did get parental permission. Yeah, wait a minute. She's wearing a diaper. <laughs> They're keen to see. What, what is the tattoo actually of, Annie? It's an angel. It's all bloody. With it's fishnets an, and gloves. And oh, an angel in fishnets. Yes. Yeah. Very tasteful. Very tasteful indeed. You're going to stick around and play some more. Bless you for doing it. Very, very kind of you indeed. If you want to have a, if you have a question for the gentleman, you want to ask them a question, you can phone us, you can fax us, you can email us to this very laptop right here where the people in the chat room are all considering taking up smoking. You look great in slow motion, by the way, and backwards too. Backwards. Look at that. We should do that. Look at him. <laughs> Whoa. 
great. You're busting your funky house disco moves behind the kit there. I can, I can <laughs> see. Um, yeah, gentlemen, we're going to play one of your favourite bands right now, Blink-182. I know that's one of your favourites there. Uh, first date. This is for uh, Vicky and Claire on the Gold Coast who've just faxed us. If you have a question for Tomahawk, now is your chance to ask them something. This is Bottom and we're live. This is Biderman on Channel D on your Thursday afternoon and with us apart from a very appreciative audience is the band Tomahawk from the USA consisting of Mike, Dwayne, John and Kevin who are relaxing in magnificent beauty here. We've got a question for them on the phone. Of course, they're touring with the big day of 2002. That's over, but you can still see them at a few select dates tonight in Sydney in the Metro, then uh, a show in Brisbane. I believe, uh, and then they're off to Europe. So if you've got the funds, Europe is the place to see them. But Todd is joining us on the line right now. Todd, good afternoon. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Not bad, Todd. Yourself? No, not too bad at all, man. That's good. Now, what is your question for Tomahawk? Um, I was actually wondering, they're all veterans of the music industry. They've all put, like, everything into what they do. And I'm wondering how they, it makes them feel when they see all these bands like Linkin Park, Limp Biscuit, all the new metal phase come up stop, and just... Stop, stop. And just make all this money off really bad music and make all these fans when these guys have put everything into it. That is a, that's a great question, Ty. That's a, you know, a question a lot of people ask is bands that were pioneers, they didn't make the money. Now, they, you know, you guys are still around and there's, there's other people of, that have... You know, there's lots of bad accountants in the world and bad uh, uh, bankers and things like that. Why shouldn't there be bad musicians? You know. Well, you got your own label. That's where it goes. You must have done all right. Dwayne nominated for Grammy. You must be all right. Same. John afforded to live in New York. Kevin, a, a punk rock legend. I mean, are, are, are you guys well off? Is this just some kind of lu luxury holiday tour? Uh, it doesn't bother me if other people make money. It bothers me that other people suck. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're crapping all over what we're doing. I don't care if they make money. They make it harder for the rest of us. Yeah. It's a condition of bad rock music. I mean, at the same time you True. had Elvis Presley and Jerry Lee Lewis, you had Fabian and True. people like that. You know what I mean? There's just always going to be that. So you have, you know, contemporaries that you kind of loathe. Do you ever tour with people that you, that you hate? Just them. Just them. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's why we formed this band. Fair enough. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the list, I believe. Nick is on the line in Melbourne. Nick, is, what is your question for Tomahawk? Oh, hey, I was just wondering whether you guys are going to focus on Tomahawk for a while or whether you're going to go back and focus on your other projects like Mr. Bungle. <laughs> Nick, get your baby brother away from the phone. He's freaking us out. Yeah, sorry about that. Did you it's get right, that? Dude. It's all right. So when, uh, when are you going to focus on Tomahawk, I believe? What the hell are we doing right now? Exactly. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick, Nick, too. To your other bands after a little week. while, like Mr. Bungle Nick. and Mark Cain. Hey, He's saying you're doing too much, basically. If you could put aside the other projects. Oh, he hates yeah. everything else we do, is that what yeah, you're saying? Not a fan at all. Oh, well, you know. Too bad you can always eat me, Nick. Yep. <laughs> You can try blowing me, Nick. <laughs> Nick, does that sound appetising? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> well, we have it. I think you've managed to Good keep sport. another Good fan sport. there. Good sport. Good play. Uh, Andrew, I believe, has a question from someone in the crowd. Uh, young, uh, young Lexi is very inquisitive this afternoon. Lexi? My question's a little bit not as deep as the other one, but uh, what's with the police uniforms? Is there any reason behind that? or? We're just trying to... Uh, <laughs> to cop the style basically of, the, of this of our gracious host here yeah we're imitating this we're just imitating hairnet <laughs> just looks it's, cool it just looks cool yeah yeah and functional and, and functional it's very functional it uh, keeps it keeps this greasy mess out of my face right okay well that's that there you go thank, thank you very much Lexi for your uh, and it gets me all the Mexican groupies <laughs> do, we, do we have any Mexicans here today show sure, your teeth uh, we're kind of light on Mexicans Mike Look at his teeth. He didn't have that on, on uh, Friday. He's been to the dentist since he's been here. Yumi has a question in the crowd as well. That's right. This is Angie. Hey, I was just wondering, what is one question that you guys have always wanted to be asked in an interview but never have? That's it. <laughs> I don't know. John, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Jesus. How much money do you want? Yeah. <laughs> How much money can I give you? That's the one question over Where do I put these millions of dollars? Which pocket would you like them in? Have, have you had any driving experiences uh, in Australia since you've been here? Or ever? Let us drive. Yeah, they won't let you drive. Me. Dwayne? Almost none. We seem to fly everywhere. Yeah? So awful. <laughs> flying and flying. Oh. I believe you have had a, a previous incident in Australia involving uh, some type of Holden vehicle. Oh, that's right. 
Um, this gal I know borrowed a vintage Holden for the night. It's stalled on a hill. I suggested in my brilliance that she get behind the wheel and I'll get out and give it a push if she put it in neutral and then that would start it again. And of course it, it went down the hill and smashed into a car. Excellent. Darn. And, and the police will call and hence your tribute today to the Australian Police Services via the New York Police Department and the SF. State Rail Authority and the San Francisco Authority. Very interesting. Um, now, uh, we got another question. Yumi, I believe. This is Steve. Yeah, guys, I just wanted to ask you, in your opinion as the band, uh, what separates for you a, a great gig from a, uh, from a crap gig? Tough to tell, you know. You could drink all the right alcohol. You know, uh, play all the right notes and the show could still suck. It's like little fairy dust that floats around. Sometimes you find it and other times, most of the time, you don't. It's a crap show. So, uh, I guess for, for me it's when the sound is really good, everybody's playing good, the crowd's into it. But, you know, that's, those are pretty, pretty big variables. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, the planets all kind of have to align, you know. It's, it's, it's a crap shoot. It's like Vegas. Are you feeling confident about the, the shows tonight and tomorrow night and for the rest of the week? Hell yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. John, sure. coming at you. Okay, before we wrap it up, we got a fax here from Pete Ackley in Caves Beach. This is for Mr. Mike Patterson, <laughs> which has become an in-joke here on Channel V after you were interviewed was by that, a, a young man. Did you do that? Was that, that, the, was that, yeah. that was Mike, who people are watching on a big screen right now uh, in Western Australia. What was it like working with Max Cavaliero, who people have turned on since he left Sepultura on the Roots album they back have? in 1996? They've turned on him? Apparently so. Look at this crowd here. They go, oh, we hate wow, that guy. Really? Max Cavalier. Interesting. Interesting. What was it like working with him? What was it like Max? working with him? Great. He's really into voodoo. He did all these, you know, he cured a bunch of my uh, my uh, ills with some uh, Brazilian voodoo stuff. He's great. Interesting. Yeah. Would you work with him again? Good guy, sure. I don't know if I'd work with him again, but I'd like visit him, you know, uh, uh, let him do my <laughs> herbal services. <laughs> As a herbalist. Yeah, an herbalist. Yeah, fair yeah, there enough. There you go. Oh, well, uh, John, Kevin, you have been rather quiet uh, this evening. Yeah. You've been so Say quiet. What? You've been soft. But uh, we... <laughs> Sorry? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Not soft at all. You're, you're, you're the hard man of rock. But uh, we, we, can we play a song for you? This is a request show. If you want to make a request tonight, one nine zero triple two double three zero is the number to play. John, Kevin, is there a song we can play for you? I think we can uh, see Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. No, no, I'm good afraid man, not. Good man, good man. Uh, we have a, a bit of Britney Spears all queued up, especially Did for Tomahawk. you notice Tomahawk. how far apart her eyes are? <laughs> cool. I'm from Tasmania. Uh, if you could please thank our band, Tomahawk. They're going to perform another live song for us. This is Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast, especially for Tomahawk. Yeah.